Howdy folks, welcome back to Boondockery. And today we're in for a little more ridiculousness. Today's video is going to be one in the series of ridiculousness videos that I'm going to be doing. Today what I'm going to be focusing on is how to repair a damaged uh, Alice Pack frame. If you remember, on my first video, I pointed this frame out. I was able to get it at a very low price because it was damaged. The slight damage that it has occurred to it are two rivets here that has popped loose from the main frame and one rivet at the top which is just getting ready to pop. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm going to use to make these repairs. The repair items are very, very basic. Of course I need to have my damaged rucksack frame. I have a rivet gun and some steel rivets. These are a quarter inch by one eighth inch. I'm going to need some type of a clamp and these clamps are going to hold the aluminum stays into position while I do my riveting. I'm also going to need um, a drill. I have a 1 8 inch uh, drill bit in here which is going to be perfect for me to drill out these rivets so I can break those free. And that is all I'm going to need. My first order of business is to drill out these damaged rivets that are broken free from the frame. Now I'm going to use a small pen to line up the whole position. And this is a lot of, lot of spring tension in here. And as a result, it's going to be difficult for me to use my clamp to get that in position. And the reason it's going to be difficult is because I'm working with a rounded surface, which is the frame. I'm pretty sure I have that lined up. Put that back right there. And the pen looks like it's good to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and insert my rivet. go there's our first rivet now we're just going to go down and do the same thing with the bottom rivet and there we have it two steel rivets now holding this stay that was broken free in position it's very good and solid let's go ahead and take care of the top one we're going to drill this one out all right time for us to go ahead and clamp it down and get another rivet in there. Now, clamp is in position. Get that rivet gun in position. Make sure it's in focus. As you can see, it is solid and secure. As you can see, <laughs> the repairs that I did on this were ridiculous or ridiculously easy. And had I not been uh, filming, these repairs probably would have taken me a grand total of maybe three to five minutes to repair this. I was able to purchase this for five dollars because. It was unserviceable. It was broken. It was damaged. And a lot of people, when they go to surplus stores, if they see something like this, usually they just pass it up. They pass it up as junk. And they, they don't think anything about repairing it, let alone talking to the owner and say, hey, you got this piece of broken stuff 
and I think you know I you know there's parts of it I could use so I, I'd be buying it for parts and um, you know they could hook you up with a sweet deal on this like I said I was looking at these things completely stripped that's even without the kidney pad uh, on eBay and they were new and they were forty five dollars or excuse me they were used they were actually used and they were forty five dollars and um, here is a used serviceable frame five bucks probably got maybe 20 cents or less worth of rivets and a little bit of time and uh, now it's time to put this thing to use and the use I have for this repaired frame is with my Molly load panel but you know what that's for another video <laughs> it's gonna be coming soon folks thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time